morning everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's 25 past nine. <music> to edit the vlog from yesterday. Just when I got some waters in off the back deck and some of them are frozen through. We are expecting to know Thursday into Friday, which is firstly supposedly only a small storm and then Saturday night into Sunday is supposed to be more significant. So we could have a snowy weekend. We shall see. I don't think Pete had any plans this weekend to go to any Thing. I don't know though. <laughs> the only thing is I'm like, ah, Sunday, I wanted to run into Myers and get some walk by. But never mind, it is what it is. We can only do what we can do. Ash is working Sunday anyway, so if we did go, it would be literally in and out, but um, we'll see. I still have to take Pete out for his birthday dinner. We haven't done that yet. Um, what else, Rox? Can't remember, guys. <laughs> Losing it again. Look at that, Miss Madam on. Are you on charge? I mean, are you on charge? Are you in charge? I can't wait to get my hair cut this afternoon. I did wash it this morning, but oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Everyone, it's so hard to hold this in the car and not be blocked by something. I'm just going to have a haircut now. I cannot wait. Um, it's chilly, willy, willy, though. 39. It takes me forever to take the dogs out and get them upstairs. So I feel like it's the only thing when I, I'm the kind of person that likes my appointments like at the beginning of the day, because then I get up and I go get it done and I don't have to think about it. When I have an appointment like at this time, I end up clock watching. What is time is it actually? I wanted to go to the supermarket, but I don't have time to go to the supermarket now before. Um, but I just, I'm going to run over now and have my hair cut. And then I'll be home. So anyway, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful well, day. I hope you're doing well. Quarter past six. Just had a heart attack. Oh, yes, hair's cut. Yay, hair's cut. And it's not styled properly because I wet it when I got home and I just quickly dried it. It was like all up. I looked like a cockatoo. So I had to come home and wet it. Pete ran to the store real quick on his way home just to pick up a couple of things. I think we're going to make quesadillas for dinner. But he came in, dropped off the bags. There's only a couple of bags. And he went back out to put the recyclables out. And I can't find Roxy. I'm like calling her and she's not making any noise. Come here, you. Scare me like that. Um, he'd obviously gone in his office to put his laptop away or laptop down, came out, shut the door and she was in there, but she wasn't scratching at the door and making any noise. And Louis looking at me like, what's, what's the matter? So then I go outside thinking, did she get outside while he was, um, you know, when he was going back outside, did she run out? You scared me. I would lose you, I would miss you, I would cry. Um, she's fine. God. Because today I put her leash on, or so I thought, but I hadn't put it on properly. And as soon as she walked outside, she was free and she ran down the stairs. She's fast and she's low to the ground. I am huge and a bad back and not fast anymore. I used to be on the... Uh, what team was I on? Country, cross country. But I can't do that anymore. And uh, luckily she listened to me when I told her to stop. Because if she went up, she's got no street smarts. If she went outside, up the front, onto the road, she would just run. She doesn't know it's a road. Do ya? <laughs> but she's good, she's safe. Pete's home. Oh, no, 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 little one. So, guys, everyone's freaking me out now. They're saying that we're supposed to get a tremendous amount of snow, so we'll see. Um, got one coming through tomorrow night, and then we've got another one coming through Saturday night. Anyway, bye, guys. So, we're having quesadillas tonight, uh, homemade, with a dollop of salsa, sour cream, and guacamole. Ashley has nothing with hers. Plain and Pete just has sour cream. Yum, chicken and cheese. Hello, everybody. It is 22 25. Um, we've had dinner. Those quesadillas I showed you were amazing. And the um, Costco guacamole 
was fantastic. It's the best I've had in a while that I've bought. So yeah, it was really good. So I'm just turning, trying to shut down my computer. Apparently we're going into a deep freeze. It's supposed to get really, I'm gonna have to lower my arm. It's supposed to get really, really cold uh, over the weekend. Yes, shut down. How many times do I try and get you to shut down? Just shut down. Um, <laughs> the, um, um, yeah, it's supposed to get really cold. Tonight it's supposed to drop. Are you sure you want to quit? I've said yes three times, like. Gosh, I gotta fix my fringe tomorrow. Anyway, um, it's supposed to get really cold. We've got this storm coming through tomorrow, which they say isn't gonna be too, too bad. And then we've got another storm coming through on Saturday, which I've already mentioned a million times, which they say could be bad. Um, the one that's coming through tomorrow night is only supposed to be like one to three inches. The one on Saturday, however, could be up, up to a foot. But it's funny, like I've said to you guys before, we're kind of right on the line. So we either get nothing or something. Um, we can get bombarded with snow or we can get just a drizzle of snow. So uh, I think they're really, they brine the roads again today. And I think because of what happened a few weeks ago before Christmas, where we had that really bad weather and it wasn't a lot of snow, but it was a lot of ice and the roads weren't brined and nothing was done and people were, you know, spending hours in the car getting caught and stuck and there were so many abandoned cars in town. I think they're panicking a bit now, but anyway, we'll see. I have the yearbook meeting tomorrow. Oh, look, I can put you right there, can I? Stay. Right, I need a few more of you to run to the right to even off the phone. Um, Oh, enjoy. Um, oh, your book meeting tomorrow. Pete cannot leave early tomorrow. But anyway, I have a year book meeting tomorrow. Hopefully he's making a list of things to do because I haven't even looked at it, to be honest, in the last few days. But yeah, I will be there. And then I will be home. I don't know what we're going to have for dinner tomorrow. What I might do is run to the grocery store on my way to the yearbook meeting and just get something. But I bet you there'll be a ton of panic shoppers there tomorrow. Always is. Anyway, guys, I am going to love and leave you for tonight. Yes, I've got one of my faithful little cuts back. <laughs> and I caught it put my hand in my bag to get my hand cream and the corner of the hand cream went right in it and I went up but anyway guys I hope you've all had a <laughs> hope you've all had a brilliant brilliant uh, Wednesday whatever you guys did today I hope it was a good one and we will definitely see you tomorrow good night.